Hello, hello everyone. My name is Sifstra and welcome back to Rome 2. Playing as the Swabi, or the German Confederation, depending on what you would like it to be. Anyway, I just want to start off this part by saying that um, um, I might be a bit reduced in this part, just because um, <clears throat> uh, I went to the gym earlier and I ran with Redmond, which I, I tend to do, but today I did it a bit, so... I got so out of breath to the point where my throat is now hurting, so <clears throat> might be experiencing we might be experiencing quite a bit of coughing, which is not really something you want on a recording, not too much of it anyway. So if I am coughing too much, then I'll make this part shorter than usual. But if I'm fine, well, then I'm fine, and I will keep on going. So, let's start this, this invasion of a Southern Egypt, well, what used to be Southern Egypt, and then, uh, then it got taken over. Hmm, the Spice Masters, yeah, that's a menacing name. Although the Tree Breakers, I don't know, not really, <laughs> not really that great either. So yeah, let's auto solve that. And somehow I didn't have a very high chance of winning that battle. I don't know how. Anyway, we are... I was gonna say pushing down to Lover Egypt, but it's still Egypt, right? Yes, it is the same region. So, last region... Well, this is the same province, so last region I need to take in that province is... Diospolis. Diospolis. I can use my navy, since the Nile is uh, affordable upstream. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Well, <clears throat> no matter if I want it or not, I still should have these guys rest for two more turns. So I guess, I guess, uh, unless these guys are ready to take care of that city immediately. Um, then I, uh, then I might be able to have these guys come down. But yeah, it all depends. So, Egypt, um, well, Egypt still has control of one region here, and it doesn't have an army garrisoning it. It only has a puny little garrison. And here we have an Egyptian army, not looking too good, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a bit sad, but, um, hey, what can I do? I can't really do that much to help them. I, I guess I could give them money. Which, uh, actually, why not? I can give them some money. Not right now, though, because I have uh, spent all my money. Just about. Yeah, doing agent actions all the time, it does take quite a fair bit of money. And all of the, uh, the conversion I need to do, because of all my conquests, also take its toll on the coffers. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I'm starting to feel it already that this part might be a short one, but I'm gonna try to get a, uh, well, I don't know how, uh, if I can guarantee this or not, but uh, I would like to get a battle in. And by the way, those guys are trying to bypass me, and I do not like that. I might have to move that garrisoning army, uh, well, defending army I should say back to Alexandria. Although my navy station there is quite decent. And I guess I could send this army back to try to take care of it. All these agents, man. At least now they give me... <laughs> give my voice a rest. So I can just sit there during the end turn and not say anything, because there's really not that much to be said in between turns at this point. So yeah, if they decide to push further north, then I'll definitely head them off with this army, which should be capable. Could also try to do that with this army, and I can actually, oh, well, I can't actually attack them. I barely not. Of course they have their armies barely outside the 
the range for me to be able to uh, to ambush them. But that is uh, that is part of the course. I'm quite used to that. Oh, can I? No. Damn, I cannot convert that into a um, Lawmaster set. That's a shame. Well, I'll have to dismantle it then. Let's see, so this port right here, to take the Arabian Peninsula. You know, if I build a navy here, it's not going to be possible for me to get it onto the other sea. And I... Yeah, I don't really know how useful that would be to me, to be quite honest. Huh. I guess we could make one, like, just in case, but I don't know if that's really worth it either, to be quite honest. By the way, these stones like that, Sanctuary Thewas. Um, are any of them complete? Yeah, I'll, I'll flip them over to, to that. But are any of them complete, so I can actually build the Oak of Thewas. And now I have one here. There we go. Oh yeah. The Oak of Thewas. One of my victory objectives. So, <laughs> now all that remains is to convert another 11 provinces into my culture. whoop de doo yeah, we're, we're gonna have some issues with that one. By the way, how much does that cost, actually? Ho <laughs> ho! 11,000. Jeez. Oh well. By the way... Didn't I... Oh yeah, here we go. I was gonna say, didn't I en enable... Or enact an, e an edict. And I did. And it has now... Gone into effect. Also, this navy is ready to do their their design work, and your first order of business is to take care of these guys. And unless I do that, unless I do that, it will take quite a few turns. So, let's speed it up a bit. And then we of course have this name, which uh, had uh, the exact same uh, function. Oh, another set of armies. They have a tendency to come in two. Which is not that great for me. Uh, actually, this army is a lot more mobile, so what I'm going to do here is... Actually, I'm also going to send up these guys for support. And use these guys to... Um... Well, actually, I can't. I don't have the money for that. Uh, but yeah, let's move these guys up here, and yes, they will be reinforceable, and vice versa, and have these guys garrison. And Memphis is relatively safe, not really that much, I would prefer for them to be uh, a bit more protected. But I guess I can I can raise a uh, an emergency army if these guys uh, decide to go on the offensive towards Memphis. Oh, and of course I can take these guys, uh, although this region is not that stable. But I think I think we can actually manage. By the way, do we have any regions at this point that are not paying the taxes? I'm actually not sure. I think all of them are, actually. Yeah. Not getting that much income from all of them. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do Libya. But at least... Um, at least I don't have to exempt anyone from tax. Which is rather nice. Ah, uh, of course, raiding. Oh well, that means that uh, hopefully I can fight um, two armies at a time, or one army, as far as I can tell right now, and not four. Isn't Jerusalem supposed to be walled? Or is it walled? And I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, and I, I think we found our target here.
Ah. Ah. Sorry about that. That is my mistake. <clears throat> Should probably write that down or something. When, uh, when I'm demolishing stuff in between parts. Ah, of course you are a pain to get to. Can I actually reach you with these guys? No, I... F <laughs> Fucking hell, guys. You have to make it difficult for me. And I am out of range of these guys, of course. With both of them? Yes. Most definite. Okay, so... Yeah. Of course, that leaves this crossing open for uh, these guys. Okay, I'll, I'll try to hinder them as much as I can. I don't know what that means, though. It probably means that they are they're hindered. Or at least slowed. Let's try that. Opportune failure. Well, better than just outright failure. Oh yeah, does you decide to go that way around? And yes, of course, I still have you. Yeah, so I guess I'll have another army here, guarding the crossing. And by the way, yeah, these guys are messing up things badly. Freaking hate you. And they're so cunning. Well, you're so. Not really cunning, but. I don't know how to really say that, given that you're AI and don't have feelings. But it's so calculated, which is basically what computers do, but oh well. No. Standard, like, just outside of range. I freaking hate you. Actually, can I move? No, I cannot. Oh dear. Hmm. I guess one of you managed to do something. Oh, up here. Hmm, interesting. Uh, anything else we want to do up here? Uh, and further north, even. <laughs> yeah, we need to get this stabilized. We also should be upgrading this, I think. Oh yeah, and I also talked about giving Egypt a bunch of money, and I'm actually planning to Greetings, friend for to honor my speak, my promises, even though the promise was to you, the viewer, and not necessarily directly to Egypt. I'm gonna give you that. Hopefully, hopefully uh, you can uh, get yourselves a decent army from that. Yeah, I hate stuff like that. By the way... Oh. I was... I don't know why, but I always thought that Jerusalem was the province capital. Hmm. Well, it most definitely isn't. It's in... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Is it in... What's it called? It's called as much as um, Imperator Augustus. Is it a capital in that campaign? I don't know. It might. Hmm. Anyway, I shouldn't shouldn't dwell on that. Oh yeah. By the way, I think my yeah definitely this sort my uh, my army is ready. My navy is ready, in fact, to move out if I needed to. The navy that is stationed in Alexandria. Oh, Spartan navy is coming with me. Thank you.
Finally. Both for the intern and for the research. Well, not really for the research, because they tend to be uh, rather quick these days. Those researchers, wherever they are. Oh yeah. <laughs> An almost 500% research rate. So massive. Ooh yeah. Okay, so that or that. Probably both. Actually, let's go for this thing, because it gives me the Builder's Hall. So I can get my my highest tier of um of artillery. Which probably is just only fixed artillery. Like giant ballista or giant donager. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, you turned your uh your army into a navy. Well, I have some bad news for you. Oh, they're gonna cross, aren't they? God damn it. You're gonna cross into the Memphis. You outright bastard. Hopefully, though, I can drag you into a battle by attacking this forge. That should work, actually. Or so I think. So, which armor should I be attacking with? Uh, this. Okay. Yeah, no real, no real question about that. So yeah, let's see. <sighs> I hate you. Well, that means that we'll do that. And... Yeah, I haven't fought a battle in quite some time, so I know I'm gonna ruffle stomp them. Well, ruffle stomp everything but the horse archers and the cavalry. That shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, it has been quite a long time since I've actually played a battle, so... Just to break up the uh, monotony of um, solely playing... Playing, uh, yeah, campaign. The overmap campaign. Oh, and the... Uh, <laughs> the map is really not that fair. Just how I like it, when it's to my advantage, of course. Oh, it, it was actually relatively flat in between me and my opponent, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. And I will do a spot of that. And the protective cavalry. And we should be ready to roll. Oh, are they intending on rushing me? Also, cavalry is not really that well suited for fighting in forests, so... If I can, I'll stay there. I love that shuffle. But yeah, we could really just speed ahead here. Oh, I... Oh. I thought I... I thought I was walking, and then tried to turn on. Well, I tried to toggle running, and uh, I really were running, so I made them walk. Oh dear. And we're in slow-mo. Yeah, let's stop that. By the way, you guys have not made a good decision. 
and you're bound to pay for it. Oh yeah, I could probably do this as well, by the way. These guys are doomed. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch them, so I'm just gonna stand them there. And maybe steal ball. I don't know if that will actually help anything. I don't really think so, but why not? They're still trying to run away. You know that's not gonna happen, right? Didn't I give you a direct attack order? I thought I did. Could have sworn I did. Maybe not. Oh, you're still at it, eh? And these guys are about to run into the red line, and since the AI is incapable of skirmishing away from a red line, at least, uh, at least in the circumstances I've seen, then it should be no trouble taking it down, and... Yes, indeed. Really wasn't a challenge. At all. Oh, and yeah. Those are finally exterminated. These guys have been pummeled, or at least they were pummeled. And they lost one man. Yes. These guys are faring a bit worse. Oh well. Oh, spare infantry. Unfortunately for you, you are favoring. So, it's questionable if you will uh, survive that charge or not. And apparently it won't. Yeah, I'll end the battle. <laughs> oh, I took, um, well, the extreme losses of just 12, and the enemy suffered well over a thousand losses. So, what is that in percentages? It's like, they suffered a thousand percent damage. A thousand percent of the damage I... I think. Like, very, very, very roughly. And of course, that is 12, which, if you thousand it, it's 1200. Well, you thousand percent is 1200. I think so. I might be completely off on that. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that uh, math isn't really my, my strongest subject. History is definitely, it's definitely the thing for me. Anyway, I I think I will end it there. Um, I feel my voice really can't take any more right now. So hopefully I will uh, return tomorrow. Well, actually I'll return later today. If I can actually get the video out on time, which shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but yeah, I, I will go to bed and hopefully tomorrow morning, because I'm recording this very late at night, I should be in shape to record again. At least uh, that's the plan. So I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully. Goodbye.